Yes, hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel, Vage Academy of Mathematics. And this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. If you see our previous session, we saw about how to find HCF and LCM of some given numbers. And this session, we are going to see an extension part of that. Here again, we are going to see how are we going to find HCF and LCM of numbers which are going to involve decimals. That is what in this session we are going to see. Here we have a question. Let's try to find the answer for this question. Yes. Find the HCF and LCM of the numbers 0 0.36, 1.8 and 1.44. So we have got three numbers here. Let's note it 0 0.36. Next is 1.8 and the next one is 1.44. So we have three numbers and all the three numbers are involving decimal expressions. So if you are getting decimals, then by what approach we can find HCF or LCM? That's what we are going to do now. For that, let's try to observe these three numbers here, which are given to us. 0 0.36, this is the first number. See how many decimal places we have. I mean, after the decimal point, how many digits we have here? We have got two places for our first number. Same way, come to our second number. Here we have 1.8. That means after decimal point, we have only one digit in our second number. And our third number here, like our first number, here again we have got two places, two decimal places. I mean like after decimal point, we have got two digits after the decimal point. So we have to see the maximum of them. So two places, one places and two places, right? So maximum of them will be obviously two places. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply all these numbers by 100. You may wonder why I'm going to do this. So if you see, I'm going to generate three new numbers from my three original numbers. If you try to do that, let us see what happens. Okay. So 0 0.36 into 100, this will become two decimal places will be tackled with this 100 so that you would end up with 36 comma. Next is 1.8 into 100. So 1.8 into 10, if you do, that will be 18. And once again, 18 into 10, you do, you will get 180. Is it or not? So our second number will become 180. And what about our third number? This will become 1.44 into 100. The same thing what happened to our first case, first number. Here again, two places with two zeros in the 100, it will be getting tackled and you get 144. So you will end up with three new numbers. And if you see these numbers, we are now free from decimals, right? Yes. So if we have decimals, it will, it will disturb our problem. It will make some kind of disturbance. So in order to make it free from decimals is what I have multiplied all these three numbers with 100. And you may ask why need, we need to specially multiply with 100. Just imagine if you have gone for 10, just an example I'm telling. If you have gone for 10, if you have multiplied all these three numbers by 10, what would have happened is you will be still with decimals only. Is it or not? See here the first number 0 0.36 if you are multiplied with 10 you would get 3.6 only and still you will have decimals and that is the reason we are going choosing for the maximum number of decimal places and with that we are multiplying okay so 100 would be an appropriate number for us then we are choosing 100 and we are multiplying all the numbers with 100 so that we will be free with decimals in all the numbers that's the reason I'm multi multiplying by 100 okay and now we got three new numbers now we are going to find HCF as well as LCM for these three new numbers. Let's continue. This is done by our usual procedure only. Okay. Yeah, fine. Yes, I'm going to take the LCM. So I can start with uh, two tables itself, right? Yeah, because all these three numbers are divisible by two tables. And remember, whenever we start doing HCF or LCM process, whenever we do this long division process, we must see that our numbers, all the numbers in the first row, we are going to choose a number which is divisible by all the numbers. Okay. In that way, I can very well choose two because I can divide all these numbers by two, right? Is it, it's possible, right? So yes, it is going to be 18 times here. And next I have uh, 180 and 290 times this is and 144 by two, this is 72 times. So once again, I can continue. Now I can continue with uh, three tables, right? Yeah, this time I can go with three tables. So three, six are 18. And here 3 into 30 is a 90 and here 3 24 times it gives you 72 yes and once again I can go search for some other number which is divisible by all three so I can go for six tables itself right because I am very sure that all these three numbers are divisible by six I can very well go for six tables also so six if I go I will have six ones are six six fives are 30 and six fours are 24 and again if you try to continue just think or just see whether you have any numbers which is divisible by all the three numbers 154 
no that is not possible right so in that situation we'll have to stop our process here itself so now it's the time for us to calculate what is the hcf so for which what we will do we will just multiply these numbers with which we factored okay so 2 into this 3 into this 6 if you multiply this you get 2 3s are 6 6 6 are 36 so this is what we are getting for our answer for hcf okay we will hold it we'll just hold it this is not our final answer just remember it we'll hold it okay we have something to be done uh, hereafter okay so to be continued we will hold it as of now let's finish the process okay next is we need to find the lcm also is it or not so let's try to find the lcm also and for lcm what do we think what we will try to check so not all three numbers are divisible we will check at least whether two of them are divisible that is what we will be checking next right so see one five and four do you have any number which is still divisible by any of these two even that is not possible so stop there now we can multiply all the numbers that you see here and when you multiply them that will give you what is the lcm shall we do that so if i if you want to find lcm what you can do is 2 into 3 into 6 into 1 into 5 into 4 this is all we need to do but already we have com computed 2 into 3 into 6 this is 36 now along with this i'm going to do 5 into 4 because this is one only so 5 into 4 let me do it directly okay so 36 into 5 into 4 so that means 36 into this 5 fours are will become 20 right so 36 into 20 will be 720 is it or not so this is going to be my lcm okay so we turned all these numbers we are free from decimals and then we computed what are hcf and lcm and we are getting the answers as 36 and 720 respectively but remember this 36 and 720 are going to be the hcf value and lcm value respectively for these three numbers okay these three new numbers only and not for our original three numbers that we have in the question so next what we need to do is we just got these numbers by multiplying 100 only is it or not we multiplied 100 with the original three numbers and then we got these three new numbers and from there only we calculated hcf and lcm values to be these values now in order to get back to the original form i mean in order to get back to the original form we need to do the reverse process that is nothing but we have to divide our answers by 100 is it clear I hope you are getting the point very clearly. We got the answers as 36 and 720. That is okay. But they are the answers for these three numbers, not for these three numbers. Now, I have to get back to the original form. I need to find the answers. I mean, I need to find the HCF as well as LCM for my original three numbers. For that, what I have to do? I multiplied with 100 only and then I got these three numbers, right? Now, in order to get back to the original form, I should do the reverse process. I should divide it by 100 and then now I will get the answers, correct answers for the original three numbers, okay? So, this is going to be very easy. Divided by 100 only, right? So, exactly, appropriately, you have to move two decimal places to your left hand side because you are dividing by 100 so two places to your left you have to move so if you try to do it this 36 will become 0 0.36 and this 7 point sorry this 720 will become 7.20 i think you are able to understand it and you are able to accept it right 36 by 100 two places move to the left 0 0.36 720 i'm moving two places to the left i will get 7.20 or simply 7.2 okay so that means my hcf and lcm for my three numbers that i have in the question are going to be hcf is 0 0.36 and lcm is 7.20 these are going to be the answers okay so let me clearly summarize what we did here so whenever you are given numbers to find hcf and lcm and that too when you are given decimal numbers the first step what you need to do is you need to multiply it with numbers like 10 or 100 or 1000 based on how many decimal places you have and that too how you have to choose numbers you have to go for the maximum number of decimal places and accordingly you have to multiply with that number you just make your numbers free from decimals then you find hcf and lcm for the new numbers and again just get back to the original form that is with what number you multiplied initially with the same number you have to divide now 
okay in order to find the answer for your original numbers that you have in the question so just do that division process and then you will happen to get the hcf value and lcm value for your original three numbers that you see in the question okay this is going to be the procedure and i hope you are clear with the procedure what we have seen here and clear with how to find hcf lcm for decimal numbers if you find this video to be useful please give a like and also give share to your friends okay just share this video to your friends so that they can also get benefited okay yes and again in our next session we'll catch up with some other interesting concept or problem see you soon there thank you so much